Hello everybody, so today we are going to be doing a test of the Shop Miss A charcoal mask. If those of you who have not watched my Shop Miss A video, go watch it. But also, um, for those of you who have never heard of Shop Miss A, Shop Miss A is an online beauty shop um, and accessory shop that sells everything for $1 US, which at the time that I bought everything was $1.43 because um, I live in Australia and the dollar wasn't doing so well, and so mine was $1.43, um, which is still a bargain, um, considering the products that I have tried and used thus far from Shop Masse. And so one of the things that got great reviews on their website was the Shop Masse Charcoal Wash-Off Mask, which is supposed to be a 15-minute facial therapy. So this is the before, <laughs> and then we'll show you the after and see what this actually does to your pores because you are supposed to put a generous massage of mud treatment mud treatment evenly over your face avoiding your eyes and your lips and leave it on for approximately 15 minutes or until it's dry and then you rinse off the mud with water and it's supposed to act like a magnet to gently draw out deep dwelling dirt hmm, alliteration oil and impurities from your clogged pores and lift away dead skins without over drying. Your face will look clearer and feel softer from the inside out. So that's what we're going to try. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this pack. So like I said, this was $1.43. I bought a bunch um, because I'm just going through a phase of trying out masks and seeing which ones are good and which ones are not. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. I've already washed my face and dried my face thoroughly as it says on the packet. So let's take a look and see what we can get out. All right, so it's coming out like this. It's like this goopy, kind of like wet clay. Um, so before I squirted this onto my hand, I should have put my hair up. So let's just wipe this on my face. <laughs> That's a extremely flattering look. We'll turn that into the 2020 look, I'm sure. Okay, so I've just wiped it all off on my face. Yeah, we're just gonna complete this look here. Excellent, Kavina, excellent. All right, so whilst I let that settle on my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair up so that it doesn't get all clay. Fun fact that I discovered about my hair this week, and so I was editing my YouTube video for the pantry declutter video that I have posted up, um, and I was wondering what this shiny thing was in the mirror. Like at the very beginning of the video, there just kept being this shiny thing like floating across my face, and I was like, what? Like what is that? Do I have paint in my hair? I teach painting classes on the weekend. Um, or do I have like some sort of sparkles? So I'm a lawyer by day and I wear a lot of sparkles. So I was like, am I somehow growing sparkles? Like am I <laughs> somehow producing like paint or sparkles in my hair or something? Um, and it just kept floating past in the video. And I was like, I don't, I don't understand what's happening. I discovered that I'm going slightly, you know, gray or white or whatever you want to call it. But because my hair apparently because um, I asked a hairdresser <laughs> uh, when I went to get my hair trimmed a couple days ago. I asked my hairdresser what it was, and my hair is growing in sparkly. So, because my hair apparently is so shiny, if your hair is naturally shiny like mine, because this is, this is obviously, this is a no product <laughs> look. Um, if your hair is shiny like mine, apparently because it's shiny, you have a pretty good chance of your hair growing in sparkly. So my hair is growing in silver, um, or I assume it would be gray on other people, but it's coming out full on sparkles. Like it looks like, you know, those holographic um, tinsel. It looks like tinsel is in my hair. Um, do they call it tinsel in Australia? They call it tinsel in Canada. I'm not really sure what they call it in Australia, but for me, I might just, I might throw up a picture of what tinsel looks like to me so you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, for Australians, it's a sparkly kind of garland-like thing. I don't think you call it garland either, actually. It's very confusing here at Christmas time for me, or all the time, really. There, 
I should do an Australian to Canadian translation video. It was extremely confusing when I moved here 10 years ago. But anyways, um, I digress. <laughs> so, um, what I was, um, yeah, shocked with was just like these sparkles growing in my hair, but I am super thrilled. If my hair wants to grow in sparkly, woohoo, I'm super excited. Uh, can't wait for that to take over. I could have like balayage, like I could have like sparkle balayage blending into my normal, you know, blacky brown hair. How cool would that be? Like naturally. So I'm all for low maintenance and if my hair wants to grow in sparkly, I support that. I encourage that. Um, so that was my fun fact. Um, because I'm sure you're all so curious about my old age. <laughs> so I've got more of the clay masky stuff. So I'm just going to, as it says, put a generous amount all over my face. And uh, it does say to massage it in, so I'll go ahead and do that. I look like a smurf. <laughs> I mean, maybe this could be, maybe you can multitask. I'm all for multitasking. For anyone who's met me for two seconds in life, it's pretty much how I survive. I'm always doing 5,000 things at once. It's very effective thus far. I support it wholeheartedly. But um, this could totally be like a Halloween mask. You could just put on your face for the purpose of, you know, trick-or-treating or, you know, office party or whatever, um, wherever you seem to be wearing your Halloween costume. and um, And then just be, you know, exfoliating and cleansing your pores at the same time because who says, you know, your mask needs to be makeup? It could just be a mud mask. So, you know, this could easily be like the beginnings of a Smurf costume or... Oh, now I can't think of anything else that would <laughs> require this on your face. I don't know, the Hulk? <laughs> Some sort of colored character on TV, any cartoon really? And so, you know, all right, so it's um it's very very easy to apply, and it said to avoid your eyes and your lips. So I've just gone around them and avoided those areas, as it said. So um, it says to leave it on for 15 minutes, um, and just massage it very generously into your face. So I'll do that and check back with you guys in 15 minutes and show you what it looks like once it's been on my face for 15 minutes and dried, um, and then. I will go ahead and show you the final reveal. So, here's the look. Yeah. <laughs> here's the look. It's it's excellent. You know, I think this could be the new 2020 trend. We don't wear the color to match our, you know, our foundation to match our skin. We just we go next level. So. <laughs> All right. So, be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and it has hardened like a clay mask. So if I go like this, there's nothing on my hand except for maybe residue from before. So it's dried pretty nicely um, on my face. And so um, it's kind of like face paint is what it feels like. So it's um, definitely not like sticky or tacky or wet or anything like that. It's just kind of... It comes off like a little bit like that on your hands. I'm gonna wash this off and it feels kind of like face paint, um, but face paint I find quite irritating to the skin so it doesn't feel quite like that. Um, it feels quite light so I actually think that if I you know went about my day I would forget about it after a while. Um, so maybe you could actually wear this as a costume mask instead of face paint. So I will wash this off and then I'll show you what it looks like in just a few minutes. All right, so I am back, and this is my freshly freshly washed face. Um, so, in terms of my thoughts on this, it it is refreshing in the sense that my skin feels quite soft, and it um, definitely hasn't dried it out. I do have dry skin, and that's always been my concern with masks, but um, it's definitely not feeling dry. Whether or not it's truly done anything, um, or is doing anything, I don't know, I'm actually going to try this a few more times, I think, and see um, how it goes. It also says you can apply it on your neck and other parts of your body, so I definitely have like more than half of the packet left, so considering I bought this for $1.43, it's 
it'll definitely last me a few uses so I'll try it a few more times um, and it has a handy bottle cap so you can close it and definitely um, use it for later so we'll see how we go but this was the shop masse charcoal mask that was supposed to lift away dead skin cells without over drying and um, work like a magnet to draw out dirt and oil and impurities so like I said um, whether or not it's done that I don't know but um, we shall see um, after a few more uses um, face feels pretty good not over drying so for someone um, with dry skin or even with oily skin to be quite honest this is probably a good one um, to get because it's definitely not making it oily and it's definitely not over drying so all the things I imagine you would want in a mask <laughs> so that was the shop masse charcoal mask um, US $1 other places the equivalent of US $1. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!